Hey friend, <laughs> welcome back to my channel, I'm Tisha. And today I wanna to talk to you about how I got to the heaviest I've ever been, which is about 250 pounds when I was around 14 or 15. So here we go. <laughs> question how did I get to that size and the fact of the matter of it all was the food I was eating and the way I was eating it those are the two main factors that were important at that time of why I was able to eat the way I was eating and eat so much to the point to where I got really big and unhealthy so the food I was eating um, when I was growing up we didn't have the healthiest options um, I ate a standard American diet uh, but more on the processed side, like fast food, KFC, McDonald's, whatever, <laughs> whatever was available um, of convenience food, even groceries, whereas, you know, a lot of packaged processed things, not a lot of salad, <laughs> not a lot of, you know, things on the healthier side. Um, and when I say the healthier side, I mean eating things as God created them. That's what I deem as healthy now. It's not dogmatic. It's not one diet, lifestyle, vegan, pescatarian, whatever. It's what God created in its most natural um, state. That's what food is. And so if I really look back at it, I wasn't really eating food. I was eating crap. I was eating processed, packaged things that had a bit of nutrition to kind of energize you and get you through the day. <laughs> um, and so eating fast food and junk food for most of the time and then, as I alluded to in my past video, having you know trauma and starting to come into this place of eating food for comfort more than for nutrition, put those two things together, yeah, you're gonna gain a lot of weight. Especially as a child, I was still developing and I didn't know how to, like I said, process my emotions. So I'm coping with food and stuffing down my feelings. And then you're eating foods that were made and designed for you to overeat them highly addictive foods like packaged processed things you see on the shelves of the grocery store now i'm not saying don't ever eat these things or eat this you're gonna die or it's terrible no <laughs> one thing that we're also going to talk about during this whole entire journey um that i'm sharing with you is how my relationship with food has changed i'm no longer super dogmatic and and rigid about my thoughts with food so um and actually looking back at it now, I didn't have any rules or anything associated with my food. I actually was in a way an intuitive eater, but just through the lens of my trauma, through the lens of my natural disposition of being a greedy little kid, through the lens of the habits that I developed of leaning into that comfort for food, right? So I say all that to say, that's basically how I, got to that size and so I continued on eating that way um, all through my years as a kid and then about 14 no let's take it back a little bit the difference between being a chubby or fat kid and a chubby and fat teenager <laughs> is vastly different because as a kid you can kind of get away with being on the heavier side um some people may say oh that's just baby fat and oh and she'll she'll grow out of it and she'll grow up and she'll be you know yeah no that didn't happen for me i just kept getting bigger and bigger so um i then noticed that uh yeah this this is um it's a problem here <clears throat> excuse me i need some water uh it's better so I noticed, I was like, this is, um, I don't feel my best. I'm bigger than my friends. <laughs> I'm not comfortable in my clothes. And on top of that, like I said in my last video, I was teased. Um, I'll honestly be saying not severely. There was a couple of kids at school, they were just mean, you know, and they would say things. But for the most part, people left me alone. But it was just, when you get teased when you're younger, that sticks with you. That sticks with you because then it's like an, it's like a digging in and people basically pointing out something about you that is inherently wrong. And so that stuck with me. And so with that being piled onto me, I'm not feeling my best. I don't think I look my best. 
And so all of these things are happening. Now I'm a teenager, y'all. And teenage women, as you know, you start to, around those years, 13, and you know, guys start to look at you, you start to look at guys or whatever it may be. You start to, you start to become more cognizant of your body. You're going through puberty. You're, you're starting to have all these hormones. You're starting to come into your cycle, ladies. All these things are happening. And so now on top of that, you're really overweight. <sighs> that could take a toll on any teenager. And so it definitely did for me. I tried working out. Um, there were times and times and times where me and my mom would be working out together, doing the Tybo tapes and <laughs> run on the treadmill, whatever it may be. Um, but you know, the interesting thing about it, I never correlated my weight with not outrightly the food I was eating, the quality of it rather. And so I'm sitting here running on the treadmill and trying to work out sporadically. It wasn't consistent at all for me personally <laughs> as a teenager, but I'm still sitting here smashing Doritos. Like what's wrong with that picture? And so I'll never forget I was, I had to be like 13, I had to be about 13. And there was a substitute teacher um, that was teaching at my school at the time. And she was so beautiful to me. Black lady, she had a little dress and on the slender side, but her, her disposition, her spirit, she was just so beautiful to me, like inside and out. She's very nice, very nice lady. And I remember we were in the lunch line and I was just next to her, like, you know, getting my little food, a little crappy food they, you know, serve you at school. Hopefully the school lunches have gotten better now. <laughs> Cause boy. Um, and so I'm in the lunch line and she's next to me. And then they used to have these, I don't know if y'all remember, if you grew up in Atlanta or I, I went to school in DeKalb County here in Georgia. So if you went to school, <laughs> in the east side of Atlanta or any public school for that public school any public school for that matter they used to have these little brown chicken nuggets like was that chicken y'all or was it like I don't know what it was but I was I, I, I would eat anything literally anything and so I'm putting a little brown chicken nuggets on my plate right and then she's next to me I see she skips it and then I just you know little teen teen I almost a kid a teen I just kind of looked up at her and I asked her I was like well like why aren't you getting the chicken nuggets and then she was like, oh, I'm vegetarian. And I was like, well, what is, what's that? What does that mean? And she said, well, I, I don't eat meat. And then she just continued getting her food and she went on. That stuck with me. I said, vegetarian, huh? And she looks like that? I want to try that. <laughs> and so that leads me to my next point. Um, the next video I want to address some of the changes that start to happen with me as I came into my teen years, because um, this is about 13 where we are. The heaviest I've ever been was 15, so we still got little ways to go. So we're still gonna be talking about the heaviest I've ever been in the next video. And um, I'll share with you guys what happened after I learned about vegetarian. Like, what's that? Like, it's gonna make me look like you? I'll do that, you know? Um, so that's what we'll talk about. But I appreciate you guys listening to my story. And again, thank you for taking this journey with me. I want to start a conversation. I want to start a conversation with you all. Please, 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 after you subscribe and like and hit the bell notification and all that jazz, talk to me in the comments. I'm here. Like, I really want this to feel conversational. I really want you to feel like you just, you're in my crib. We're just talking. We're just chilling. Like, it's friends. I really want that. I want to connect with each and every one of you if you have something to say about this specific topic. So drop some comments below. Like, let's really talk about it. Like, share your journey with me. Like, anything you want to talk about, I'm here. Um, and I look forward to seeing you guys next Wednesday. This is going to be fun. This is, this is going to be fun. I like this. We're, 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 we're getting used to um, YouTube here. I'm still new to it. Don't get me wrong. But um, I'll definitely see you next time, friend. Bye. Bye.